Do you ever find yourself struggling to keep up in casual conversations, aka small talk? It can be frustrating, right? To solve this, I'm going to show you some examples of small talk, teach you new phrases, and then we're going to practice what we've learned. By the end of this video, not only will you learn some new phrases, but your speaking skills will improve greatly. Now, the best way to practice with this video is to watch and repeat the phrases after me. Then you can replay the conversation again, pause after each sentence, and try to make a response yourself using the phrases you've learned. I'm Kim from Understand Real English. Let's dive right in. First, let's see an example of small talk about the weather. Oh no, it looks like it's going to storm again soon. I don't have an umbrella with me. Storm means to rain very heavily. Another example of it in a sentence is, when I left the house, it was storming. Yeah, it's been pouring rain recently. You should have checked the weather forecast before heading out. Pouring rain is another way to say that it is raining heavily. Another example of saying this would be, we had to cancel our picnic because it was pouring rain. I know, but I thought it would clear up by now. It was just a bit chilly this morning, so I didn't think it would rain this hard. The phrase clear up is used to describe when the weather improves, especially when clouds and rain go away. Another example of this in a sentence is, the weather forecast says it will clear up by this afternoon. The word chilly is used to describe weather that is cold, but not extremely cold, but often in a way that is a little unpleasant. Another example of saying this would be, it's quite chilly outside this morning. Now let's go over all the phrases we just learned. Try to listen and repeat to remember or write them down in your notebook. Storm, to rain very heavily. It's storming out. It's storming out. Pouring rain, heavy rain. It's pouring rain out. It's pouring rain out. Clear up, to describe when the weather improves. It's totally clear up ahead. It's totally clear up ahead. Chilly, to describe unpleasant cold weather. It's chilly out here, huh? It's chilly out here, huh? Now let's listen to what small talk about health could sound like. Hey, did you get sick from the rain yesterday? No, I stayed dry, but I've been feeling a bit off lately. To feel a bit off means to be slightly ill. Another example of it in a sentence is, I didn't go to work today because I was feeling a bit off. Yeah, it's easy to get run down during gloomy weather. Run down means to feel very tired and lacking energy. Another example of saying this would be, after running in the rain, she felt completely run down. Have you tried taking vitamin C? Not yet. Thanks for the reminder though. You should take good care of yourself. To take care of or to take good care of means to protect someone's health. Another example of using it in a sentence is, it's easy to get sick this season. You have to take good care of yourself. Let's go over all the phrases now. Try to listen and repeat to remember or write them down in your notebook. Feel a bit off. To be slightly ill. I just feel a bit off. I just feel a bit off. Run down. To feel very tired and lacking energy. Or I got pretty run down. Or I got pretty run down. Take care of, or take good care of, to protect someone's health. I take good care of my mother. I take good care of my mother. Now let's hear an example of small talk about plans. Hey, I thought we were supposed to hang out today. What happened? To hang out means to spend time together casually. Another example of saying this would be, Let's hang out at the park this weekend. Sorry, I got caught up in the rain and decided to stay indoors. To get caught up means to become involved in or distracted by a situation or activity, often unexpectedly. Another example of using it in a sentence is, I got caught up in a traffic jam, so I'll be a bit late. You ghosted me and you didn't even give me a heads up. To ghost someone means to suddenly cut off 
all communication with someone without explanation. Another example of saying this is in English is, Matthew is not a good guy. He'll ghost you. To give someone a heads up means to let someone know about something in advance. To use it in another sentence, you could say, please give me a heads up if you can't come. Sorry, I didn't want to risk getting sick, but we can reschedule for tomorrow if you want. I don't know, can I trust you to not stand me up again? To stand someone up means to fail to meet someone as planned, without prior notice or explanation. Another example of saying this phrase is, she stood me up for our date last night. Of course you can. I'll keep an eye on the weather and make sure I'm prepared this time. To keep an eye on means to watch or supervise something or someone closely. To use this phrase in another sentence, you could say, remember to keep an eye on the time. Okay, but you owe me big time. I was really looking forward to hanging out today. To owe someone big time means to have to do something for someone because they did something nice for you or because you disappointed them previously kind of what's happening in this conversation. Another example of saying this phrase is, thanks for covering my shift. I owe you big time. Let's go over the phrases. Try to listen and repeat to remember or write them down in your notebook. Hang out, to spend time together casually. You wanna hang out? You wanna hang out? Get caught up in. To be involved in an activity unexpectedly. Okay, I get caught up in my work sometimes. Okay, I get caught up in my work sometimes. Ghost someone. Suddenly cuts off all communication with someone without explanation. Why did you ghost me like that? Why did you ghost me like that? Give someone a heads up. To tell someone something in advance. Give me a heads up before you do it. Give me a heads up before you do it. Stand someone up. To fail to meet someone as planned. Why'd you stand me up last night? Why'd you stand me up last night? Keep an eye on. To watch someone or something closely. Keep an eye on the time. Keep an eye on the time. Owe someone big time. To have to do something for someone because they did something nice for you or because you disappointed them previously. Hey, I owe you big time for this. Hey, I owe you big time for this. And that's it for today's video. If you wanna watch more videos of this series, comment below to let me know. Also, don't hesitate to check out our other free videos to help you level up your English skills. All right, see you in the next video.